The Upland Racing Series has been announced. This is the official Upland Racing Series announcement, and it's kind of a big deal. So we're going to go over it today. There's a lot here, so make sure you come check it out. Make sure you come read it thoroughly. I've left a link in the description below so you can come check it out yourself. We're just going to go over the main bullet points. But in going over the main bullet points, I hope we answer some of your questions. I hope we get you excited about Upland Racing and the Upland Racing Series. The reason it's a big deal is it really sets the structure for official racing events going forward. There's two types of racing competitions, official racing competitions that have been set up here. The first is seasonal racing competition. So each and every single season, we're in frost season, you're going to be able to participate in racing competitions. There's leaderboards. You're going to be able to get win prizes each season based on those leaderboards. There's also an annual competition. The annual competition is our championship circuit. It sets up a yearly champion of racers, a championship circuit of racers. The way that you get points for that competition, the championship circuit, is by placing during each of the seasons. It's very fun. Let's go through this announcement. See if we can answer some of your questions in doing so. First up, I did highlight here, this is an open beta. We're launching an open beta. The reason we're launching an open beta is we want to make sure this is the best experience, the best competition for racers in Upland bar none. So come participate. Come let us know what you think. Leave us your feedback on the open beta, what works, what doesn't work. We'll make some adjustments from there as we monitor what's happening, as we monitor how it goes and some tweaks as new features drop. We'll make some tweaks as well. So stay tuned for that. This comes out of open beta this summer during the 2024 sizzle season. That will be the first official, official non-beta season uh, that happens in Upland. So it's very, very exciting. Open beta, things may change. These rules aren't set in, in stone necessarily. We're going to make tweaks and adjustments for here. So come participate and let us know your feedback. We want to make this the best that it can be. So let's go over the first seasonal competition. This is the Frost 2024 racing season. We're calling it the icebreaker because it is. It's the introduction. It's just breaking the ice here. There are five leaderboards that will take place this season. There's a season one in Stock Car Pro. There's a series two. There's the series T, which by the way, includes monster trucks, which is super awesome. There's series four and there's carts. So if you're in any of these series, if you have any of these series car, you can participate. You can earn points to each of those leaderboards. If you come in the top 10 of any of those leaderboards, you will receive a prize. Now, there are some notes here. You can see right here, the series one and Stock Car Pro, the Upland Championship circuit is next to it. That's the only series. This is the only leaderboard where, in which you you have a chance to get points for the championship circuit leaderboard, the annual competition. So not all car classes will enable you to compete in the annual competition, the championship circuit. It's really set for the, for the best cars in Upland, the star car pro cars and the series one car. Now, any subclass, all subclasses can be used on each of these leaderboards. So E's, R's, all of them can be used. And the competition is live now. It does end. All the leaderboards close on Wednesday, March 13th. And the Series 1 and Stock Car Pro finals are on Friday, March 15th. The way that finals work each and every single season is the top 12 racers of the Series 1 and Pro Stock Car Series cars race to determine their placing. And then there were awarded points. We'll go over that in a minute, but through semifinals and finals, these finals each season will happen at a monument. That's why monuments are a big deal in Upland. The first one for this season is the Lucille racetrack. Very, very exciting. Go check out that racetrack. If you haven't, it's getting decked out. It's going to be quite the experience. Very very fun. So what about points? How do you get points? How do you get on the leaderboard here? Well, you do have to race for stakes, number one, and you do have to be in a race with at least two or more other players. So three players total in order to count towards points for the leaderboards. So now you don't have to place. There's two ways to get points here. Just racing against other players will get you points. The more players you race against, the more points that you get, regardless of where you are in your positions here. And here's how that works right there. You can see if you race against five other players, you get 10 points. If you only race against two other players, you get one point, but you're guaranteed those points no matter where you place. Now, when you race for stakes, the amount of Upix stakes staked per player determines the amount of points you get if you finish in the top three. You can see the more Upix you stake, the more points you get. So 1,500 Upix staked per player. If you come in first place, you get five. Second place, you get three. Third place, you get two. But 
If you decide to go into a race with 5,000 Upix staked per player, you get 15 points for first, 11, 7. As you stake more, you have a chance to get more points. So you can see the top is 15,000 Upix staked. That gets you the most points there. Now note, all community fees will go towards the final prize pool. Leaderboards close on Wednesday, March 13th. So jump in to get, get in some races. Leaderboards will be live here in the next 24 hours. So stay tuned for that as well. So let's go over the prizes now. The top 10 racers on each leaderboard will receive a prize. Here are these prizes. First through 10, you can see it's Sparks and uh, Spark and Upix. However, the Series 1, the Championship Circuit Series, the Series 1 and Star Car Pro, they will, the top three will receive badges. Those are those badges. The only way to get them is by winning first through third. At the end of every season, that series will race in semifinals and finals to determine their final standing. But every leaderboard will have a 1 through 10 leaderboard and they will receive the following prizes come check out these prizes let's talk about the upland championship circuit this is the pinnacle of racing achievement in upland this is the yearly competition the annual competition that awards the top racer in upland the only way to get points towards this circuit is to be a series one or a pro stock car racer that gets you points if you're in the top 12 on that leaderboard at the end of every season we will determine, we'll have semifinals and finals for the top 12. That will determine your positioning. That finals will be again at an Upland Monument, Lucelle, this race season. These finals are hosted by the Upland Racing League. Make sure you head over to their Discord. The link is right here in this blog post if you're not already over there. They know strategy. They are the racing experts in Upland. They're a fantastic community in Upland. Here's the rules for those finals. These finals, semifinals and finals will be take place at the Lucelle racetrack, like I said. And based on your finishing, these are the points that will be awarded to those players for the championship circuit. Every season, those points are rewarded. The top 12 during Genesis will race for the championship in semifinals and finals fashion and crown the winner. It's very exciting. Now, we haven't yet announced the prizes. For the championship circuit but they're going to be huge and it's going to be amazing these are the top racers all year in upland now let's talk about what's coming in the future for racing here and it's very exciting max performance score and consumable boosts you can see consumable boosts here and they look fantastic but what does this mean for racing well it really levels the playing field for racing so a max performance score is every race will have a max performance score and you have to be strategic about how you approach that race so for instance, if you have a really high class car, just having that car might hit that max performance score for you. Whereas if you have a lower rated car, you'll have, it won't hit that max performance score. You'll be able to add consumable boosts, put them together, be strategic about what kind of consumable boosts you have to take into that race to help you compete against that higher class car. Really levels the playing field. It's really exciting. The thing about consumable legits here that are coming or boost consumables this introduces the merging of legits the leveling up of legits so one of the things that you're going to be able to do is if you have a consumable boost you'll be able to a level one you'll be able to say well i want this to be a level two i want it to be more powerful more valuable for me you'll be able to combine legits and turn it into merge them to turn it into a level two it's very exciting come check it out we will have more details on this as they drop uh, and the championship racing, the racing seasons will adjust as these drop as well. It's very exciting. Regardless, that's the Upland official racing series. Again, make sure you come and check out the whole announcement. Make sure you read through it, learn it, live it, love it, and get to know it. All the details are here. It sets up the future of racing, seasonal and annual competitions. We've got max performance boost coming, max performance score rather. Don't forget, this is open beta. So leave us your feedback. Let us know what works and doesn't work. And with that, I'll see you guys in Upland.